2022, the midterms, they're pretty much over. So let's get into 2024, right? I know that's what you're eager to do. You're dying to talk about the presidential election. Well, the competition is already heating up, not officially with candidates, at least not yet for Democrats, but with states, right, trying to become one of the early Dem primary states in 2024, Michigan, Nevada, Minnesota. I want to bring in NBC's Alex Seitzwald, who is here with what his sources are saying and some new reporting coming in for us, Alex. So the DNC is going to be meeting next month to talk about the primary schedule. You have some states that are looking to make some moves, try to get in, get frankly, get more attention, right, in the national spotlight to get candidates to come to them sooner. Yeah, so the DNC is meeting uh, here in D.C. December 1st through 3rd to discuss who's going to be the new four early states. Right now, it's Iowa, New Hampshire, Nevada, South Carolina. Uh, but what my sources have been saying for a while now is that Iowa looks like it's on the chopping block. Remember, they messed up the 2020 caucus. It's a very white state. It's a very Republican state now. They want to add more diversity to the calendar. So the DNC has been looking at this for months. They had dozens of states apply to join. Uh, they wanted to wait until after the midterms to see how things shook out there. And now uh, Michigan is making a big play to get in to one of those four states. Debbie Dingell, the congresswoman, is trying to join the DNC to push that agenda. And Nevada, currently number three, is trying to jump into the number one spot ahead of New Hampshire. Explain why this matters, right? Explain why it's important to the DNC and to Democrats in the party to have a more diverse state, for example, be one of the early states. These are the states that set the tone for the race. Yeah, that's exactly right. I mean, this is where the candidates spend a lot of their time. This is where reporters come. This is where the voters have outsized importance. You know, every single vote really matters. And Iowa and New Hampshire have had an enormous pull over this process. They've essentially chosen or narrowed down, at least, who our presidents are going to be for years. Uh, but these are both overwhelmingly white states. Democrats in 2008 added Nevada and South Carolina to try to add some diversity right. to the mix. But they're saying it's still not good enough because Iowa and New Hampshire have so much, uh, you know, sway. So they need to add more, not just racial diversity, but economic diversity, uh, you know, industrial diversity. Iowa is a pretty agricultural state. So that's the case that a state like Michigan or a state like Nevada is making. They're saying we're microcosms of the entire country. We're also battleground states. So if you can win here, you can win the presidency. Well, you talked about Iowa being on the chopping block. Is New Hampshire at that same rate? New Hampshire is not at quite the same risk, although they're going to have to justify it themselves. They didn't mess up their uh, their caucus like uh, Iowa did in 2020. Uh, and primaries have been safer. New Hampshire is fighting very hard to defend their role. They have it in the state constitution that, that New Hampshire has to have the first primary, so they're not going to go down uh, without a fight. But Nevada is making a play, and uh, behind the scenes, this is getting—the uh, elbows are flying, and it's, it's getting fun. Drop.